Hi, this is Tim of the 1916 Company. Welcome and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, reach out tmasso at the 1916company.com for all of your purchase, pricing, and availability questions. Today, we discuss an extraordinary launch from 2021. This is the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Frosted Gold Double Balance Wheel Open Worked and it features an extraordinary set of gems. They're not all sapphires, no. Here we have, among other things, rubies, emeralds, and sapphires, all set into a classical rounded octagonal royal oak bezel with a double balance wheel skeleton movement in a very wearable 37 millimeter rose gold case. So 37 is the diameter. The watch is 10.1 millimeters thick from lug tip to lug tip, 47 millimeters if we're just measuring the case, but I like to measure the intermediate link to its opposite number. That gives me a true distance across the wrist, and that distance is 49.5. This is a unisex watch, although there is a 41, there really isn't a ladies watch. The timepiece right here is a perfect match for my wrist, and that's partly because every Royal Oak wears about a size or two larger than its rated size. This feels more like a 39 or a 40 in terms of how it fits. It's certainly weighty. You can take a look down the barrel at the clearance on each side, and you can see I've got a little bit over the top. It is a low-slung watch with a sloped bezel, so it will slide easily underneath a dress cuff. Taking a quick look, I really think this is the best size for the watch. I've worn the 41, and it feels like a 43. This is just right. The Carolina Buki inspired frosted gold treatment arrived at Audemars Piguet in 2016, and the small drill tip used to create this hammered like profile means that no two will be exactly alike. This is a manual craft using the drill tip tool, and as a result, the scatter pattern is completely random. So. Being that each is a piece unique, the only thing that is the same from watch to watch is that the effect is spectacular to see. Now you can see it's also paired with polished bevels, and the break between the hammered profile and the bevel is quite sharp, so you get a nice contrast. The bracelet is beautifully finished, and it takes between 9 and 11 hours to finish a standard Roy Loke bracelet. This is going to be considerably more due to the application of the chiseling across every single link, including the intermediates, and you can see that the inner faces of the intermediates are even polished. This is a work of art and a tour de force effort, virtuoso. Taking a look at the removable links, you can see that they are fixed in place using screws. So you have screw fixed removable links. You have a double folding clasp that's media blasted and satinated internally. It's actually quite secure and thick gauge. You can see it's a sequential close, one side closing before the others. Twin triggers required to open it up so it can't pop open inadvertently. The bracelet, as on other Royal Oaks, fixed the case using screws and bars. Much more robust than spring bars. Happy to see that there. There's vertical satination on the flanks of the links and you can see how the bevel of the case expands from the mid case over the lug hood and then continues unimpeded and unbroken down the links themselves. The integration of bracelet, lug, and case was the vision of the original Royal Oak designer, Gerald Genta, in 1972, and it became quite influential, both within the industry as a whole and in the course of Genta's subsequent work. The Royal Oak was a famous first assuming you don't believe he designed the Rolex 5100 Texan, but that's a different story. Now, what we have here is the rounded octagonal bezel that Genta actually drew from a vintage diving helmet. That was the inspiration for the original Roy Oak bezel. Now, not only do we have all those set gems here, but you can see we actually have white gold hexagonal bolts, and they are bolts, not screws, and they have a counterpart a nut on the inside that fixes them. That's how their slots can be aligned all the way around. We have an unusual treatment of the hexagonal crown, which as you can see matches the hexagonal bolts. The outer face of it is polished rather than satinated. It is a screw down crown. The watch is 50 meters water resistant. When you've got a screw down and 50 meter resistance, a watch is surface swimmable. You might be surprised at how practical this watch is. It's surface swimmable, it is automatic winding, and it features plenty of loom. You can even see that with the lights on, it's one of the easiest skeletons to read. There's really no challenge determining where the hands are. The Audemars RPGA logo is ghosted onto the underside of the sapphire. We have a very deep Rejo outboard with a satin finish, rose gold tone. Acts as a visual unifier between the bezel and the movement. Now, caliber 3132 here 
is based on the 3120, but very highly modified. The first modification, well, everything has been skeletonized. You can see that the bridges have all been cut out, so is the base plate. Even the barrel cover has been skeletonized, and the more tightly coiled the mainspring, the closer you are to the full 45-hour power reserve. You can see the keyless works with the clutches and the springs, the winding pinion and the crown wheel, and then the motion works center with the minute wheel, the minute wheel pinion, and the hour wheel. We have this lovely rounded and polished counterweighted lancet style seconds hand and then we have the full balance bridge and actually there's two of them you can see on the reverse side i'll do my best to show you this but on the reverse side get out of the way rotor there is yet another balance bridge on the underside so the double balance they're actually linked together it doubles the oscillating mass to improve the timekeeping properties of the watch so it beats away at three hertz or six beats per second there is a hacking seconds function to set it precisely and then we have two hair springs and if you could look carefully, you could see that the stud holder on the bottom is 180 degrees out of phase with this one so in any position the directly opposed physically identical hairsprings immediately counteract the effect of gravity as one is caused by gravity to run faster the other by an equal and opposite margin will run more slowly so it does what a tourbillon does but it does it in a wristwatch format not a pocket watch and it does it instantaneously not over a minute or minutes very impressive stuff so the movement you've got right here is finished to the nth degree, a 38 joule tour de force. It's adjusted in five positions, like a standard chronometer would be. You can see that there are sharp interior angles where these interior hollows, all of which are beveled, meet in sharp creases. And then on the reverse side, we have a fully skeletonized rotor that features more interior work. You can see those sharp inward bevels. And you can see that there's no shortage of them across the skeletonized bridges and plates. All screw heads are black polished. Satination is used across the bridges or what's left of them. And the base plate features media blasting, all of which is immensely impressive to look at under a loop and satisfying. You can see down at the base of the dial some of those interior bevels coming together in razor sharp creases, the kind of thing even most six-figure Audemars Piguet watches no longer include, reminding you that long before there was the Royal Oak, Audemars Piguet was haute horlogerie, and this is a great example of combining the Royal Oak with some of those craft art traditions of the great manufacturer out of Les Brassoux. If you love this watch, reach out to Team Also at the1916company.com for purchase and pricing details. Uh, one more quick note before we go. You can see that we have a dual anchored batwing style balance bridge when combined with the free sprung gyromax style balance that makes for a surprisingly shock resistant movement architecture and the free sprung architecture even makes it easier to adjust the watch precisely. So while there is a lot of art for art's sake on this movement, there's also an awful lot of thoughtful engineering. Again, reach out to Team Also at the 1916 Company. .com for purchase and pricing details.